guys, it's me Shadi aka Shady Bangs and I need to make this intro real quick because I have builders upstairs and I'm scared that they're going to start banging any second. But as you may have guessed from the title of this video, this is a drugstore foundation highlight and contour routine. A lot of you guys have asked and Shady Bangs has delivered as said, yes. <laughs> So I really do hope you like this video. As always, if you do like it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also share it with a friend, you know, a dark skin sister or a brown skin sister or whatever skin sister you think could benefit from this <laughs> highlight and console video drugstore version. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to transform your drugstore products and how to make them mimic like high end products. So watch out for some real good tips, y'all. Shady Bang's got you covered, okay? Also, subscribe. We have surpassed 37,000. Thank you guys so much. The family is growing. I love you guys. And you guys are totally inspiring me to create more content. And I feel so happy. I'm in such a great creative space. Ideas are flowing. Y'all suggestions are flowing. And if you have any more suggestions, talking about suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. I'm like so hyper. I need to calm my sh down. All right, calm my tip. See you in my next video, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay sexy. Love you guys. Bye. So the first thing I do is apply my foundation and in this case it's the Black Opal uh, Stick Foundation in the shades Nutmeg and Truly Topaz. They are the best foundations ever and I'm using my NYX stippling brush to blend it all in. It blends like a dream, a superb natural second skin like finish I would seriously recommend and I got it for around like £9 from my local beauty supply store here in London so I'm sure you can find it um, in other places but it's amazing. And just to blend it into my skin further, I'm using my Beauty Blender. In this travel container is my Air Spun Powder, which is a great alternative for any expensive setting powders. And I'm just putting it around my nose for shine. You can get it from eBay. Um, this is what all the drag queens use to bake. It is amazing. Seriously, guys. Just to mention, I did use drugstore products for my eyebrows, and they'll be listed down below. Using my Vital Concealer. I'm using two different shades for concealer. This is just for blending purposes and I'm putting it on my forehead and on my chin and obviously underneath my eye or along my cheekbones. Taking this NYX concealer in the shade Cinnamon, I believe, I'm using it as a lighter concealer underneath my eyes and I decided to use this Nika K one on my nose just, just for some pizzazz. A great tip to make liquid concealers more thick and their coverage more opaque is to let it set for a while. So I waited a couple of minutes, around five minutes, before I blended it out with my Beauty Blender. And a great alternative for the Beauty Blender would be the Royal Techniques Complexion Sponge. To blend up my nose contour, <laughs> highlight I mean, I'm using my Zoeva Concealer Brush and then I'm going to blend it out again with a Beauty Blender. I absolutely adore this product. It's the NYX Contour Palette thing. I'm not sure, it'll be listed down below. I use the two shades, the two brown shades for my contour. I use the lighter brown shade so that when I blend it out it'll be a lot easier and it'll be like a smoother transition and I'm using a Barry M brush to apply it. As mentioned before, I cover the contour around my cheeks so to make my cheekbones seriously puff. And just contouring my nose using both of the shades as per use. Blending it out again with the same foundation brush that I use, the NYX Stippling Brush, and this really helps with blending because it just blends into foundation so easy since it has a little bit of product on it already. And again, the same Zoeva Concealer Brush to blend out my nose. To clean up my nose contour, I'm using one of the concealers again, just putting stripes on the sides and then cleaning up with the same Zoeva brush and blending it into my under eye highlight. <laughs> Before setting my under eye, I'm going to blot it out using a sponge and also with my beauty blender. It's best to blot it up while looking up uh, because then you'll get out all the creases. And then I'm going to set my under eye with the same air spun powder. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush, by the way. I also apply the powder on the sides of my mouth because I suffer from smile lines so hopefully this will eradicate it or lessen it. These are my contour shades, they're by Makeup Geek and I'm using two and this is the moment when I realise that, uh, oh snap, 
it's uh, it's a bit too dark but don't worry I will fix that I continue anyway and I contour the underneath of my jaw and my forehead big forehead gang where you at using my beauty blender beauty blender beauty blender to blend away the darkness and the harshness of that really dark contour powder and funnily enough I actually like it you would have seen this product before it's my absolute New York Pro bronzer and I'm using it with an angled brush from China um, to like marry their contour bronzing up my face uh, making it you know a bit more brown and then I'm sweeping away the nose highlight and going in with the same makeup you keep uh, contour to contour my nose I'm doing this with also a brush from China further blending with my beauty blender I'm going to neaten up the sides of my nose and my contour using the same air spun powder then I'm taking out my face powders and this is by BF classic I believe from a beauty supply store in London South London and I'm just warming up my face blending away the highlights and just making sure that all the shades marry and blend well together in my face and this is the finished result Time for highlight, as you can see I've got my lashes on. This is the Kiko 208 Water Eyeshadow and I'm using a NYX fan brush, thick fan brush to apply it to my cheeks, my forehead and my chin and nose. This is when I realised I forgot to apply blush and so I go do that. I'm using Makeup Geek blushes in two shades, I'll list them down below and um, I felt that it was a bit too heavy on my cheeks so I blended it away with some face powder. I then top up my highlights with the same Kiko eyeshadow and then I'm using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Highlight uh, Highlight <laughs> in I think Golden Light, it's amazing, super white and I apply that on my nose and on my cheeks. Okay this is pretty bizarre but I didn't have any setting sprays at hand so I'm just using my Lush Tea Tree Water. Lastly I use my L'Oreal Infallible Spray and it's the best setting spray that you can find in the drugstore. And that is it, I really hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And yeah, leave me a comment and I'll see you in my next video, bye! <laughs>